Welcome to the Lynn Lineup, a show that highlights upcoming events happening in the Lynn community. Today, I am joined by John Huang, the North Shore Regional Director of the Food Project, and Mackenzie Mackin, the Director of the Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance. And we're here today to talk about the Lynn Grows Kickoff event. It's going to be happening Saturday, April 14th, 2018, from 3.30 to 5.30 at the Lynn Museum. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, so. Let's just start off with an easy question uh, for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so John, what is the Food Project? You guys have been around since 91, so it's 27 years now. Uh, what do you guys do? Yeah, kind of briefly, it's a youth, and youth development food justice food systems organization, and we particularly bring people from very different backgrounds to be able to work together to create new food systems that are equitable for everyone in the area. And so that's kind of just like a small snapshot of what the Food Project is doing. And uh, Mackenzie, so you're the director of the Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance. Uh, you guys have been around a little bit less now. Yeah. You guys started up in uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sure not a lot of people in the city know about you guys, yeah. so here's your platform. Why cool. don't you let the people know yeah. what the Food and Fitness Alliance is and, uh, yeah. Sure. The Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance is a Mass in Motion based grant um, based in Lynn. Uh, we're hosted in Lynn and we do um, health and wellness change in the city. It's policy change. So we are in charge of the community gardens in the city. We work on initiatives called Complete Streets, which is walkability and pedestrian safety. Um, and our initiatives change every year, but we have been in partnership with the Food Project for a while now and work on a lot of those issues together. So, Just briefly, if you could uh, just explain, what is Mass in Motion exactly? Mass in Motion is a policy change through environment and uh, systems change. And so you kind of do um, policy change so through not too programmatic programs and you're kind of getting down to the roots and health disparities through working that way. All right. um, so we're here to talk about the Lynn Grows kickoff event. So would one of you guys be able to explain to everybody what Lynn Grows is? Yeah, so part of our work uh, at the Food Project, we were noticing kind of a, a disconnect with hearing from residents about what they were interested in, you know, in terms of like food access or their food reality. And a lot of folks that weren't necessarily residents were, you know, making decisions based on, you know, how to help create a, a better food system in Lynn. So in 2016, uh, the Food Project and the Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance got together and we're thinking that we need to really engage residents to really find out what folks are really experiencing at the ground level and to use that to help inform kind of like what direction uh, organizations and what direction resources should go. So in the start in 2016, there was a, a large uh, process to recruit residents to become involved in forming a committee that would then create a vision and a set of priorities to build a better food system in Lynn. So that process took a full year to recruit members to be able to understand like language around what food justice was, food systems, uh, access, equity, and what was available in Lynn. And then once that knowledge was gained from those trainings, they could then you know, be a part of the Lingroves Steering Committee, which was formed uh, in 2017. So these past 10 months or so, we've been together with a group of about 25 people, some institutional stakeholders, and about, you know, three quarters of those people are residents from Lynn, and we've developed, a, you know, that vision and set of priorities that we think would build a better food system. And right now, we were, we're finishing up with listening sessions, I would say, around that. Um, so you mentioned a steering committee. Um, how many people is that and who's on it? If you had to give a brief overview of the type of person. Yeah, yeah. So it's about 25 people that uh, meet on the steering committee. We have some youth from schools like around in the area. We have some, you know, just residents that are community gardeners. We have some members of the Highlands Coalition in that community uh, over by Ford Elementary School. We have some teachers and then some other institutional partners like uh, North Shore Community College, the YMCA, uh, uh, UMass Extension, and some folks that are just involved in like food systems work in the in the city. So, so you would mention that 
you guys started it up in in uh, 2016 and you guys spent a while so it's good to know that you guys can just jump into it <laughs> you guys have actually been planning this for a while yeah. <laughs> trying to work out all the kinks um, and you had mentioned listening sessions and uh, tabling events so if would you guys be able to tell us what exactly those are and how they've gone? Sure. Um, the tabling events we do at different spots in the city, um, those are a little bit more general than the uh, listening sessions where we just set up a table and kind of present our information. If people are interested, we kind of talk to them about the vision and priorities we've worked on for the last eight or so months. Um, the listening sessions, so there's a group of probably six, six or seven of us who go out and it's usually two at a time people. So we've done the listening sessions at places like the YMCA, Girls Inc., the high schools in Lynn, Gliss, uh, Meadow Court, which is a um, Lynn Housing Authority's place, and then we also have a couple more scheduled like at Silsby Towers. So we go and we kind of get a feel for how the people we're speaking to feel about the food system in Lynn. We ask them what they think that is and if they're familiar with the term, and then we kind of go into a conversation about our visions and priorities and explain them, um, explain the work already going on in the food system in Lynn. Like like um, SNAP benefits in the um, HIP program, which is a match program down at the farmer's market, if you're SNAP eligible, um, and trying to get their like feel and their knowledge of the already existing food system. Um, and once we present our priorities, we ask them to rate them one to six now, to see one being most important to them and six being least important, to get a gauge um, on these actual communities in Lynn experiencing it, how they feel. All right, so we only got a few minutes left. Mm -hmm. um, so let's use the rest of the time to just talk about the event itself. Sure. So um, it's April 14th at the Lynn Museum. What can people expect if they go to this kickoff event? Yeah, some of the things. I mean, there's going to be some live music. There's going to be a video about, like, you know, what Lynn grows and some of the history around in it. The main kind of piece of the event is that there's going to be, we're going to release the final version of the vision and the set of priorities, which is six of them. And we would love to ask for folks if they have interest to see if they want to get involved in helping us, you know, make those priorities happen to, to build a better food system. So there's going to be food, there's going to be interactive activities. Um, it's not going to be for the full two hours, but, you know, a good chunk of it will be, you know, getting to know what Lynn Grows is. And there'll be some fun things to do as well. All right. And, um... Any last words about the event, or if somebody has uh, wants to find out more information, where can they go to find that? Um, between the Food Project Facebook page, um, the Lynn Food and Fitness Alliance Facebook page, and we'll be launching the website around yeah. that time too for Lingros. It's not out yet, um, but once this event happens, we'll have a lot more information with follow-up on what we're going to continue to do and how we're going to keep tackling the priorities and the vision. Well, thank you for joining us, John and Mackenzie. So again, that is the Lynn Grows kickoff event happening Saturday, April 14th, 2018 from 3.30 to 5.30 at the Lynn Museum. That's all for this edition of the Lynn Lineup. Thanks for watching. <laughs>